Alright guys, this next lecture involved in the advanced video effects available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro is actually going to blow your mind. This method I'm going to walk you through right now is a method that is literally, not even exaggerating, this has literally saved me days worth of video editing time and overall composition time. And the method I'm going to be showing you guys is how to automate clips to edit themselves to the beats. What? That sounds very out the box, I know. But, uh, you know, as you guys know at this point, I create a lot of club promo videos. That's been the theme of the footage we've been overlooking at. And this is something that helps me personally, but also anybody who needs to create anything to the beat. I'm going to show you how we can actually work through this song right here and actually add independent markers at each one of these beats and actually once we've added markers at all of these beats and I'm going to show you how to do all this don't worry we can actually automate the clips so we select all the clips we want after adding in and out points to them and they will actually add themselves to the whole project via the click of one button and our project will have essentially edited itself with no composition no adjustments nothing obviously then it's down to you if you want to go in and um, pick and choose the clips that you might want to switch out for each other or whatever other process there is. But this is how to completely automate all of the video editing into honestly, uh, you know, this personally makes the video editing process for me about a quarter of the time. No exaggeration, I promise you. So how do we start doing this, you say? Well, it's very simple. So what we want to do is we want to actually play this all the way through. And every time we hear a beat that we want to cut the clip on, we would press M. And what M does is add a marker, okay? So for example, um, what you guys want to be doing is not selecting the clip itself or else this will add a marker inside of the clip. For example, like that, I'm just going to undo that. You guys want to just be selecting the regular projects. When we press M, it adds a marker up here. These are the ones that matter. And that is the shortcut. It is just M, M on its own, uh, and you will be adding a marker. So what I'm going to do here is work through this track and just go ahead and give it a play and add a marker every time I want a beat to change. So I'm going to go ahead and press play, work through, and just actually add these markers. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just adding these. So a couple of those are definitely no doubt pretty rough, but the moral of the story right now is, I'm just going to add one at the beginning as well, um, that we have done some rough markers that are kind of on the beat, and you see the kind of pattern we go for is we want to just go ahead and press play, and actually just go ahead and press that M button anytime we kind of feel a beat that we would want to be chopping off on. Um, it's not the most accurate thing in the world, but obviously... We're not going to be super out only by like maybe a frame or two. And you see what I'm doing here is what we do is just keep on adding these beats all throughout so that it's going to be chopping. So we've now done, it's safe to say, a very rough but still an outline of the beats via the markers. And you guys should be seeing essentially, you know, this when you go through this. is just a bunch of markers scattered across the top in seemingly random places. And next up is going to be the fun part of the process and overall the super easy part of the process, really. Once we added all those markers, and by the way, what I would do is when I'm actually doing this, so zoom in here, is what I would actually do is zoom in, right, to actually... Um, see where I want to chop these and just start readjusting these. So it looks like that one I would probably have there. Uh, it looks like, um, so it looks like maybe what, that's the next one I wanted to jump on. That was pretty off. Um, that looks like I got pretty accurate with that one. And you see, I, I've only kind of not been accurate by maybe like one or two frames. So it doesn't really matter that much. However, if you guys want to, this is what I would do pr for a professional edit. So I may as well actually show you guys how to do it as well, is I would just keep dragging these along to actually adjust these, right? So uh, these are actually accurately on the beat. Um, and it's not just a little bit before or anything like that. And I just keep scrolling through here to actually adjust these to be on the beat that I wanted them onto and not just a frame before or anything like that. So everything is looking nice and synced. And obviously, um, this can be a bit of a tedious process, but it's worth it. And overall, even the time combined of adjusting these little clips right here uh, is still way less, you know what I mean, way less time spent than actually uh, going through and individually having to adjust and add all your clips. 
uh, via just dragging them over and then syncing them up with the beats, which is a you know a much more of a tedious, boring process and a much slower process to to say the very least, to be honest. But you see what I'm doing here is just adjusting these these markers so that they are in line with these beats, and um, these are just a bunch of random beats that I've tried to sync it up with as I played it through and just tried to add those markers. And hold on, let's just keep on keep on lining these up, and then eh, I think this this should be all right at this point. I think those last few are okay. So now we just have a bunch of markers at the top. I want you guys to come over to your clips, and it is uh, crucial that you guys actually put it in and out point. Now you don't have to put the out point on everything because obviously the out point by default is going to be right here at the end. Okay. So even if you don't put an in point, uh, even if you don't put an out point, the out point will by default just be at the end or, you know, wherever basically. So you just need to make sure you guys throw an in point or else it will just be starting at the beginning of that clip. Um, so for example, in here, you know, that's my end point right there. This next clip here, that's my endpoint right there. Overall, just a bunch of endpoints. And then I want you guys to actually go through and select the top clip, then come all the way down to the bottom of your clips. Okay, keep on scrolling down, hold shift and click. So it selects everything in between and you guys will have a big selection of clips right there where you've actually in and outed all those clips as well. And then you actually go up here to sequence or actually go up here to clip rather and then come down here to automate to sequence. That's where, that's where I got the word sequence from. Click on automate to sequence, and the only thing you guys need to change is simply change placement to at unnumbered markers from sequentially. You're, uh, just normally by default, it will be on sequentially. Just for me, it's on at unnumbered numbers, uh, at unnumbered markers, because I've done this before, okay? So for you guys, it will be on sequentially. Click that drop down, change it to at unnumbered markers, and watch this magic when I press OK. Oops, <laughs> there you go. Hold on, guys. Um, we do need to bring this audio layer down to the second layer because all of these have audio attached to it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But anyways, go ahead and reselect these clips right here because I just clicked off accidentally. Go ahead and reselect them. Go up here to clip, then go to automate to sequence. Click that automate sequence at unnumbered markers. Press OK, and everything will have thrown itself into exactly where it needs to go. And the only reason there are these little gaping holes here is because clearly the end point of these guys was actually before. So all we have to do is then readjust these clips that um, the end point, um, the out point rather, was actually too soon. So it didn't make it all the way. Adjust all of these. Mute this layer, obviously, because that's all just the garbage audio. Adjust all of these so they actually fill the whole area. And once you've adjusted everything, you will be able to actually give this a play and it will be a sequence that has actually edited itself and automated it, the editing to the beat, which is a massive time saving method. If we just go ahead and cut it off there um, and actually just go ahead and delete all these other clips because it has thrown in all the other ones just after because there aren't any numbers, uh, any markers for it to go to. But now guys, if we actually go ahead here Press that out button, go up here to sequence, render in and out. I'm just going to give a nice quick render through this or at least a decent portion of it um, so we can actually have a nice watch of this to see how well it has actually synced everything to the beats. And this method here, I was not joking when I told you guys in the beginning that this has literally saved me uh, at the very least hours, at the most probably days worth of editing in, t in total. It like uh, combined across all my projects since I figured this method out here. Um, it has been absolutely crazy, such an amazing method. And overall, if you're doing any sort of work where you need to automate the footage to the beat, this is an amazing method to do it by simply going through, adding those markers all the way at the top there, and then actually just readjusting them. So they're actually accurate and on point. Um, and then go ahead and automate those clips into the sequence. And actually, I'm just going to cancel that now because it's rendered enough at the top and go ahead and give this a play. And you guys can see now, oh, let me give this a, a quick play. Everything is synced to the beat. All the markers that you can see are up the top. And this has actually just edited itself, which is amazing. And if I just keep on playing this, this is edited through itself and done a very good job of actually syncing everything to the beat simply via these uh, the, the use of markers. Um, now, for some reason, it's not playing the audio here. Um, don't worry, Premiere Pro is glitchy often, all the time. If, if, if ever anything's messing up, just go ahead and uh, replay from a point where it wasn't messing up. But everything is decently synced. Everything's put together nicely. And overall, this, uh, you know, 
actually syncing all of these clips manually to the beat would have probably taken us about two hours, an hour right here, just to do a, you know, a one minute worth of footage. But you can see we've just done this in less than 10 minutes, which is not even comparable amount of time to save. It is absolutely amazing. So by all means, use this time saving method of how to automate clips to the beat and you will be saving yourself literally from my mouth to your ears days and days days worth of time compiling, adjusting, and overall piecing together this particular uh, sequence right here where we've just automated that in a matter of minutes.